guys welcome to another episode of <coughs> quick social evangelists uh, what Bible says Bible says Bible teaches us things that pertain to that pertain to life and uh, and our living well, in the name of Jesus we ask that you guide and and instruct instruct and give us insight and knowledge in the name of Jesus Amen so, <clears throat> life and living. Uh, looking at, let us get to the to the heart of the issue. What's really happened? Uh, what is life? You know, uh, <clears throat> we know what life. What is life about? And basically, what and why is there so much? Uh, trouble why there's more shooting why are people attacking people why are people envious and why are they the Bible says the love of money is the root is the root of love of money is the root of all evil basically all uh so you wonder why things are happening going here why are things are just you know why people are attacking everybody and just as Jake Tran one of the channels YouTubers, <laughs> I subscribe to Jake Tran, talks about money, power, and um, crime. How the world works. Basically, the world is about people trying to, you know, get power, get get money, and just, you know, get that. Just by just by any means. Love, as the Bible says, the love of money is the root of every of all evil. And that's why people attack people. That's why people are looking at people. That's why people are jealous. That's why people are envious because they're trying to get something. But it's something that is more precious than any amount of money. Uh, the Bible one talks about riches and warns us that it's also. I mean, God has given us wants us to be wealthy and rich. But money is not. Bible says that it's developed to win. Money is not all that there is to it. Our Lord Jesus said that what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world? If he gains the whole world and and loses his own soul. Gains all world and his own soul. So there's something more precious than than money, than than achievements and basically material things. The Bible talks about he that wins his soul is wise. So there are things that are very important. That's our very lives are important than what we can acquire. The Bible says that a man's position, a man's life does not consist in what he acquires. So what happened? Now Adam in the beginning, Adam and in the beginning, Adam in first man Adam fell and something happened when Adam when that happened I'm sure we're all familiar with, with the um, beginning what happened in the beginning and basically there was uh, there was a there was something that happened that that caused man that caused us to be you know, have you noticed that little children, even small children, they natural, they know how to do wrong or evil things naturally. Nobody t- tells a child to, to you know, do some mischievous things, and they do that just on their own naturally. So as every most of us um, would know, life is spiritual. Just as uh, it's not the content, it's not the bottle, but the content, meaning is the liquid in the Coke or in, in any um, bottle that matters. It's actually, it is about our physical, our lives, not just our bodies. And as well as man is made up of the spirit, our soul, then our bodies. And the thing is, man in the beginning, as as we read from the Bible in Genesis, man fell, and because of uh, sin, man fell. From God's presence. So what happened was, 
there was a way the Bible says that God made in God God said in in, in, in in that He made everything was perfect. When God made everything, so that it was good. When God made everything, everything was good. So there was something that happened. Look, uh, we'll look at uh, Genesis in the book of Genesis. There was something when they were tempted. When Adam was tempted by when Ad, when Adam was tempted, then that fall happened. When he, he gave into um, he gave into he sinned. He disobeyed the Creator. He disobeyed. You know, it's just like when you make something. They say everybody makes something. Everybody is a creator of something. Everybody, every work you do, you make, you create something. So anything you create, you are the one that makes the process, the, the guidelines for that thing to form to to work. So meaning is the maker, is the creator that gives us the guidelines on how to function in life to live. And he has said, do not do this. Do not eat of these fruits. Do, do not eat of if when you eat of that fruit this will happen that will happen and looking at just as ourselves naturally um as the bible says that in matthew that if you who are evil you who are human beings humans and you are and you are, you, are, you, are, you have some evil things you do if your child your biological son or child should ask you for a bread you're not giving stone if you ask you for something, you will not give him a bad thing. So how much more the heaven, your heavenly Father, who made, who created you? How much more the heavenly Father who made us all? So He loves us. So just as you know, the Bible says that when we look at things, when we when we when we look look at the, the creation, when we observe, when we look at the creation, you know, just like it, basically, if there's any, even the the one of the uh, scientist of you know renown and law said something. No, basically, if you notice anything in anyone or anyone rebelling, saying I don't want anything to do with religion, I don't want anything to do with Christianity, I don't want anything to do with with religion, as pushing away the Creator, it's because there's something. There's something. There's something in their in their lives. There's something. Our instance said it because. He was giving a, 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 an analogy that it's because of that person, there's something a man is hiding, there's something he likes that is a sin that is holding close to himself. That's why he doesn't want to. You know, anybody that does things in the secret, anybody that runs from the law, it's because the person is breaking the law. So, anybody running away from the light or running away from the law is actually not keeping the law. So, that's why the person is moving away. And as the Bible says, uh, there, it said Jesus, Jesus, our Lord said, Jesus said that this is the condemnation that enters, that is, that, that is, this is the condemnation, condemnation that is, that enters the world. It's not that men have not seen the light. They've seen the lights. They've, most men have heard the truth. They know the truth. But the thing is that they love darkness. They love those evil things. They, they love that dark, they love that darkness. They love those evil things they do. They love that sin they do. That's why they are running away from the light. So it's 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 I believe we can we, most of us will live when you, you do something wrong, you run from from being um discovered of a real sin and basically. So back to Genesis. God made everything perfect, just as you would also make any product you make good. Our far heavenly father. The creator of everything made us in love, made everything perfect in love, 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 love. Everything was good when he made it. And that's why, as the Bible says, that's why if anything happens or, or there's any challenge anyone encounters or something, how do you solve that problem? How do you solve that that challenge? You go to the point from where it began. That's where you go to. Just said, and remember the height from where you fell. So, if something happens, you know, there's a usual saying that, that the same thing that caused the problem cannot solve the problem. But if anything happens, logically, what do you do? 
you go to where did this start where it started from then how do i solve it from there so let's look at the day what happened why is why what happened why is the world the way it presently is what happened and the bible is the i mean this most of us know i've heard of the, of this and the fact of the matter the truth of the truth is that i mean uh, for those rejecting the bible and the, the fact is when you even look that way observation is important when you look at yourself when you look at surroundings when you look at creation when you look at things around those things those things tell you explain things most of us most everyone most people learn by observation by observing when you look at things around the bible says that nobody's everybody's without excuse and even the, the, the what god has created tell of his majesty tell of, of what god has created so nobody's the bible says we are without excuse so we know everybody has been given a point everybody knows in their mind in their heart that oh what i'm doing they know they, they know the truth in their hearts so most times that people do evil things is because they feel uh, the the bible says that god is long suffering so they, they, maybe there will be time for them to repent and every and they can you know they, they will keep doing the evil the bible says that the wicked keep doing wicked wicked things because they they, they they believe they wait they believe god they know god is merciful and won't punish them immediately but that is a very dangerous way to a wrong way to live you can't say because i know my father or i know somebody loves me so much and i know that my parents love me i know someone loves me i will now deliberately do something that will harm them because i know <clears throat> they will forgive me and that's sad because already trust will be broken in that process so as the Bible says, love, the Bible says, love covered all sins. All sins. God made everything and it was good. God made everything and it was good. It was perfect. God made everything and it was good. So looking at how how everything in the world was made through love, was made by love. So life itself is not so complicated. If we truly, as the, as, as, as the word says, the Bible says, love. Is the one that covers love is the one that makes everything it's like love never feels love makes everything okay so if we live in love and what is love if we live in love and true love not being uh, frivolous but if we live in love meaning we genuinely care for people and really want the best for them you would not rape somebody you would not take advantage of somebody that comes to you for aid for help or anything so love <clears throat> truly covers every helps covers any sin we any any sin the bible says never fails love never never fails and this is the commandments jesus said this is the commandments that we love we love um, this is the, co- the commandment, the, the whole commandment that we love God with all our heart, love God with everything we have, everything we want, love God enti- totally, love God and love your neighbor, love our neighbors just as we love ourselves. Meaning, when we love God, then we now love our fellow humans every, and uh, we love them. And what is love? Love. Uh, love and justice. Love would not. Love is very close with justice. Love and justice. Love would not let you. Love. Would, love protects. Love guides. Love. Love says the truth. Love. Love protects. So love is not. Oh, you know. Love is not careless. Love is actually very um, focused. Love is. Love, justice, love and justice. The Bible, love and justice, talks to represent our Lord Jesus as lion and the lamb. If you remember the the, the, the story of Jacob, when he wrestled in the Bible, he said he wrestled with the angel. He said he wrestled with the angel of God, of the Lord, the angel of God. So that angel represents our Lord Jesus. Jesus is 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 the lion, is the lion and the lamb, lion. And the lamb, meaning, first 
he protects love protects love guides love guides and love is gentle in that in 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 guide. love is love is is, is is not love actually protects the protects if he said this is the commandment of god if we all live in the commandments of what god has said this is what god has said let us love <coughs> Wanna, let us love everyone. Let us, let us do things in love because love never fails. Now, the Bible says in the book of John that if in book um, that let's first John, John, the book of John that there is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. Uh, meaning, if you if you see somebody. I mean, your best friend or your loved one going to do something very dangerous. I mean, to the edge of it, an aeroplane or anything. You will not even stop saying anything. You will just drag them back without even explaining. You just drag them back. So if you see your loved one, that, that's how you see fathers when the child is is doing something wrong or doing. You first, what do you first do? You you yank, you scold the child or you. Then you know when you do that, the child now stops. Because you are doing, you are preventing the bad thing from happening before it occurs. That's love. You you protect first. You protect. Uh, not not letting people do as they like, as they please, as they like, or anyhow, or do. Most anyone allowing things to people to live without law or doing people to live anyhow. That person, anyone that doesn't scold his child, actually hates that child of his. If you don't scold your child if you don't teach your child if you don't teach your son your child well if you don't that means you want them to the bible says that uh is it foolishness or in children you know, children are they are growing so they don't know much so it is your role as a parent is my role as a, to train that child because of we love them we don't want them to do those things so if if allow if you allow anyone to do wrong things then one doesn't really Love them. So back to the heart of uh, of what we are talking. God made everything good. Love is what perfects. Love is everything. And when man eats the fruit, when man fell in the beginning, Adam, when he fell in the beginning, that's communion with God, with the Father, was was halted for, for 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 was halted and the reason was halted and if you look at it the reason why god actually did not let man to remain in the garden after he had fallen was so that he would not go and commit another sin that would be terrible again so he would not live in a in a, in a terrible state god had to drive man out and so that he can put, bring him back to himself so god did it for love out of love the Bible says that God it chastises those He loves. It chastises His children. That the Father has God, God chastises His children. So the question: Why do we? Why do? Why is that? Why do people? Why is there so much hate? Why do people do those things? A responsibility is placed upon. Upon everyone who, you know, there's something that is called the 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 sin or the, the sin of negligence or of of meaning when you know something and you do not share it. Meaning you, you see somebody going up to a cliff or the person is going down a wrong path and the person doesn't know that path is dangerous or something and you see the person going and you you saw it happen and you didn't stop the person. Even in the law, you are liable. I mean, if they if they find out and maybe the people saw that they find out you saw that person doing it and you just didn't do anything, the person you are liable to that person's um, death or that person's blood. You will be charged, arrested, and all. So, the Bible says that he that winneth, you know, the Bible says that the blood he that winneth, so that you know, blood will report. that people when you know someone is committing a sin and you just do not do anything about it. That's bad. That's a sin to your on you. 
That's the sin. So love. So back to so now, focusing on on what the problem, what the heart, the heart of the issue of the man. What is it? As Jesus said, as the Lord said, uh, we don't have to. You know, they say what you're looking for in Nigeria is a common slang in in Nigeria, in the northern part of Nigeria. So they say, they say, um, or oh, it's common slang in Nigeria. And they say, they say, basically, what you're looking for somewhere, meaning it's whatever you're looking for. Most times, it's with you already. You don't as bad, you don't look for it outside. Most things we search for are within us. We we have <clears throat> what we are looking for. We are looking for somewhere else with you. So this is the condemnation that, that enters the world that enters the world. That man men have seen the light. Men know the light. They have seen the truth. They know they've seen the light. But because they love that darkness, they love that sin, that darkness, that's why they are running away from the light. This, they, he said this is the condemnation. Let me let's find a part in the, this is in John, John chapter, John chapter three, John chapter three verse, verse nineteen, eighteen, nineteen. So this is quick, quick. Uh, this is quick, uh, quick social evangelist, and let's see, um, and. We upload m- mostly <coughs> wallpapers and scriptures, quips. So he said, This is to upload them every, every day, daily. And, um, <coughs> and, uh, Wallpapers, wallpapers. Uh, that con- condemnation. This is the condemnation that enters the world. <coughs> this is the condemnation that enters the world. That men have seen the light. John, just go to John chapter three, verse nineteen, verse eighteen. <coughs> John three, verse, verse eighteen and nineteen or nineteen. That this is the condemnation that enters the world. That not that men have loved, not that men have don't know the light, this is the truth. They know it, but they, because they love sin, they love what they are doing. Now the question is, if this is it, so how do we walk in the light? How do we live above sin? How do we walk in the light, basically? How do we love? Love. And you do this by... Because the issue, what, what happened was not a merely, not a fiscal thing. It was actually a matter of the heart. It was man fell, man became contaminated with sin so the bible talks about the heart of stone that what happened so because it's it's by generation men men give it to you know children happening happening so it that cause happened and because that's how every child that was born had that nature of sin but god in his love and his mercy shielded told adam left to down to leave the garden drove adam out of the garden drove adam out of the garden so that he will not permanently eat the tree of life and fall and become permanently in that state so that he will be redeemed by God's perfect sacrifice. God is God is is God knows everything. God is God every nothing God knows everything. Not God nothing takes God by 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 oh surprise not nothing as my dad always says, he says there's no there's no coincidence with god meaning when something happens even before it happens the bible says that that the lamb that jesus our lord the lamb of was slain from the beginning of the world so there's nothing god is god just knows everything he's god and if you are the i mean if you are the creator of something you can see everything from a good you can see every how the thing is from your vantage point is very is you know is a good vantage is, you can see all that is happening so before anything happens you know it the bible says that god knows the end from the you know everything god knows the end from the beginning so he's god he's the creator i 
I, 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 I usually I was okay. The statement I always make, um, I, I've, I've, I've said for for <coughs> for, for uh, a few years now, and um, while I was, you know, it's, it's a statement. You know, if 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 we just look at that, the Bible says that when the, the, the creation, when we look at the creation, when we look at things, when we observe. We, we see the, the 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 creator's hand when we observe what is happening naturally you can see that there's design there's this is not something that just happened this is there is order there's design you can see that evidence in the world so if just uh, just if now if you 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 make something you create something now let's look at as things we create, we, we, everybody makes something. Everybody cooks. Everybody, most people cook. Everybody does something. Your trade, your work. So when you do your job, when you manufacture, you do your job. Whatever job you do, when you do it, meaning if there's a mistake that happens, you know how to, you know what to do to correct that error, that mistake. In the Bible, God told to Daniel also to if one of the prophets to go to the potter's house and let let him learn, like see understand some what God to understand something. So the prophet went to the house of the potter, it's on a mix, you know. And in as the potter was making a vessel, a piece of the thing got broke. It, it broke. Then when it when it did he, he he what did he do? The the potter molded a new vessel from that broken vessel. So meaning a potter just as we all create we make things our 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 jobs what we do. If something happens you're a teacher, you're a writer, whatever. If something happens on your job, you correct the error that happens because you are the one creating that, doing that work. So when our fa- when God make, our Father makes something, if you know, if we just look at the big picture, if we can just, if we, and I'm sh- and maybe I'm sure most, most people do, but maybe they as the banner, or maybe as Jesus said, He said that this is the condemnation. That people, not that people have not seen the light, they know the light, they know the truth, but that sin is so dear to they love that sin. That is why they are like, oh, ah, I don't, I don't want any, you know, I don't want, you know, I don't want any, as, as, as the pres, the, as people, as some people say, said, I don't want, no, I don't want the, the, the sky, I don't want any, you know, authority, any other, I don't want any, the sky, I don't want anything, I don't want, so they, they they run away from 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 the uh, the 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 the, uh, the authorized leader or authorized authority because they don't want that they are they are they want to live in that rebellion that sin basically. So, uh, so uh, when we look at how we make things and we have the solution if something happens to that thing. So meaning, there's, I mean, this if we really, if we observe and look at the creation, if we patiently, you know, and just look at what happens and even how, as the Bible says that the creation tells of his, of his, of, 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 of his, of God's, you know, God's God's creation. It tells us of God's everything God does. It tells of the of of the powerful the the, the design. It tells of of, of God's majesty. It tells of, of God's of God's you know creation. So when we realize that even we, as the Bible says, even we when our children ask us for something. What do we do? We don't give them the wrong thing. We give them a good thing. So how much more our Heavenly Father when we ask to ask? And this is, uh, the Bible says, this is, the Bible says that how much more, heavenly, that if you ask Him, Jesus said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and shall be opened, the door shall be opened unto you. Same simple life <coughs> simple life is simple when we look at it 
from the perfect, from the right perspective, from the vantage point, from the big, look at the big picture, look at, that way it's, it's responsible, it's right to observe, to look. So when we look at lives, when we just observe, look, we can see, I mean, just as God has created families, created, you know, we just have to go back a little and just look and just observe. God has made everything good, perfect, and we, if you remember the story of when Jesus was in the boat and there was a storm and he was sleeping, peacefully, he was sleeping in the boat, and the, apostles, the disciples were asking, I don't, you, Master, Master, don't you, yeah, well, well, things are happening, you know, but he was sleeping. Another instance of when he was walking on the water, so if we look at 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 what at what at what God has in store, what God has has in store, what God has made as has in mind has created what God wants for us. When we look at the picture of what God wants for everybody, when we look at the picture of what God and for each and every human, you know there's so much. And Jesus came to the earth to. To be an example to of, of to, an example to the world of the kind of life that we can have, the kind of life we should live. He did great works on us and on the physically in, in 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 the world on the earth. He did great works, and and that's an example. He wants us to replicate to do great works. He says will do great works. Just look at the works of Jesus. Just take a, 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 a look at the Bible and look at the works of what Jesus did. What did he do? His, he, 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 he walked on the water and on the sea. He performed great, I mean, miracles. He lived with power. He lived on the earth. And he, he, he living on the earth was, he lived, it was a man. He left his majesty in heaven is what he, he means his, his glory in heaven he left his power his you know his throne his seat and he came to live as a man he was actually fully god fully man he left where he was came here to live as a man so to show us that we can do it to show us to show us an example and he is the is the light is the example that god put for us left as giving us put for us to to show us possible to show us to show <clears throat> to show us uh, that we can live as God intends God wants us to live to show us God we can live as God wants us to live Dr. Robert Johnson, it has a page on YouTube, a YouTube channel. That's Dr. Robert, my pastor, Dr. Robert Johnson. And, you know, what does God call us to live? You know, there's this thing about when you get saved, you just, you know, be. But God has called us to, to live. He has given us life in Jesus. And He has also called us, when we get saved, we don't just go to heaven immediately. We are here on earth to live. So there's life and there's living. There's living. Meaning, God has called you. God wants us to. The Bible says that He has given us blessing, glory, dominion, many things in Jesus. God has given you all. It was uh, all that pertains to life and godliness. God has given us in Jesus in Christ. He has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. So now, looking at it, let's look at the matter, the heart, the, the, the heart. What is it? What is it? Now, Martha, if you are familiar with the story of Martha in the Bible, Martha was Lazarus' sister, Mary's sister. So, Martha in the book of Luke, Jesus went to her house and he visited them. And Martha was just, you know, there's that ten tendency that we have and people are busy. I just want to be busy. I'm doing many things. I'm doing many things, but I'm, but I'm busy. One thing is needful. One thing is important. One thing is needful. Jesus told her, Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are encumbered with too many things. You are doing so many things. 
your sister Mary, you said you are doing so many things, but only one thing is needful. What happened was, he said, Mary, your only one thing is needful, meaning she was she was like you know doing the chores or just around. Let me do this. Let me do that. Let me do this. But Martha, her junior sister, went and just sat and was hearing, listening to the understand the wisdom that was coming out from Jesus, and she was hearing. So there's meaning there's one there's just one thing we need. One thing we need to to leave. One thing we need. One thing. Jesus. One thing. To replace our heart. When we get that heart, that nature, that God nature, that heart that we, Adam lost in the beginning. When we get that heart back, that nature, then we can live as God intends for us to live. God wants to give you and he has made a provision in Jesus. God has made the provision for you to live as you should live. How should we live? Spirit. The Bible says that in the book of Galatians, in the book of Galatians, that Galatians chapter 5, that when let's, let's go to Galatians chapter 5, talking about walking in the Spirit. Now, before Adam fell, that means he was walking in the Spirit. He was living how God wants wanted us or wants us to live in the spirit was doing the right thing but when sin and came in he became he now knew you know became corrupted now flesh the flesh now became one was now wanting to do many things his flesh now became more more stronger or the, the flesh became stronger than his than his spirit i was supposed to live our spirit i was supposed to live from our from within not from outside i was supposed to control live our lives so Spirit. The Bible says we are supposed to walk according to the spirit, the spirit of God, the original, the spirit, the holy, the spirit of God that God gave wants us from the beginning to have or to live through, to live by. Walk in the spirit, and you shall you shall not do, you shall not fulfill, fulfill the deeds of the flesh. Galatians. Galatians. If you have your Bible, Galatians. Galatians 5, Galatians chapter 5, Galatians, Galatians chapter 5, search for it, it talks about walking in the spirit, walking in the spirit, meaning when we, you know, when the Bible, Jesus said, the Bible says that if you're focused, you know, if you're focused on anything, on something, that is what you do, that is what you work, you do. So meaning when we, we focus, we focus on living in a certain way, the right way, we won't live the the, the the way we are not to. Now, it says, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. If we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. And the Bible says, express, it says that in, in Galatians 5, that the, the flesh and the spirit do not are contrary to each other. They mean they work again. They don't. They do opposite things. Opposite. Now the flesh is, as we know, the man is spiritual. Spirit to have a soul and to live in a body. Now the spirit is what we are supposed to live by, live through. And when we get born again in Jesus, we have the spirit of God put in us. So we live by. We have the spirit of God when we get born again. Speaking, when our Lord was talking to Nicodemus, he said, he was telling him, Nicodemus was a, was a teacher, was a, you know, Pharisee, was a big, was a teacher in, in Hebrew, and, it, and just said, a man, except a man is born again, he cannot enter, see the kingdom of heaven, of God, except you are born again, meaning, your spirit has to be, you have to be reborn, you have to get that original life God, God wants, or has created for every man, you have to get that life, be born again. Born of water and spirit, born of born <clears throat> the Bible says born again. So it says it says the man be born of the spirit, water and the spirit. If you look at the book of John, John from John chapter three, the, um, <clears throat> John chapter three, the first John three, the whole chapter talks about being born, being brought back into the family, brought back into how God you know, into God's kingdom, bring, bring God back the way God ordained, God wants us to live. 
we are brought back to that state of fellowship, you know, for us to that state to live the way God wants us to live. If you, if you, if you die, you know, there's, there's, there's that thing, if, if, or to be born once is to die twice. To be born once. Now, this is very, this is the most, I mean, as we know, our lives are the most important thing. Our life is what we, is most precious. Not even our, only our, our every possessions. Our lives first. Our lives are what's most precious. So to be born, you know, there's a statement say that goes that, oh, you, you only live once, you only live once. Don't be the, you don't only live once, don't be deceived. You only live once, no. When, as we can evidently see, as we can see that when we, I mean, if you, there, there are things you do now you don't want to do. You just have, I, I just feel like doing this. I just want to do this. My body is calling for it, or I just want to eat. I just want to do something. But when you do those things, when you keep, if you don't question yourself, when you keep doing those things, doing those things, you don't notice obesity, things happen. But when we live self control, you know, when we live. So, basically, we are. Enabled by God to live according to His ways, the way we are supposed to live. Now, God has given you, you know, there's this thing about people trying to let me take from that man, looking at that man, looking at somebody else, it's so this, it's so that. What God has given, God, God has bestowed upon everyone. Now, man, man, every man. Was, is made in the image likeness the image and likeness of god meaning you as a man as a human you already have god's blessing you have god's i mean god's stamp god's approval you have god's love waiting for you and what is you know if the bible says knowledge is if, if people perish because of lack of knowledge my people of, you know if you don't know something you cannot attain you cannot attain or use that thing if you don't know that there's there's if you don't know that there's there's light there's power or there's something you can't use that thing if you don't know your phone can access the internet or has 4g you can't you won't use it so god has given you blessing he has given us all bless everything we need for life he has given us everything and that is why you see people christians you will hey guys there's something god is as has called has given you now we don't need to look at somebody else, anybody else. Or oh, let me take what that man has. Let me, you know, it's even demeaning. How would you be looking at somebody else and want to have or take what the person owns, the person has? Now looking at yourself as an individual, that is demeaning on you as a person. Why would I be looking at somebody else and want to be looking taking from him or something? It's so it diminishes you from diminishes you from the glory God has bestowed upon you. God has given you. I mean, man, the Bible says in the book of, you know, that that's, that it says that, the um, Bible says man is so, you know, it says that, who is man? There's a part that talks about man. Oh, who is man that thou art so mind? Why are you mindful of man? If you look at the book of Psalms, the one of the angels saying, why are you mindful of man? Who is man that thou art crowned with blessing? With glory? Why are you mindful of man? You know, the Bible says that the angels of God, the angels of God, they have, free will as well they have free will but they have been made they are warriors they are soldiers they have been made to be ministering spirits to to the sons to the children of god to to men they've been made to be ministering spirits to man humans they are so you hear, you hear about gabriel mike you know they are actually warriors that have made their servants but they have free will meaning they can leave they can decide to to leave their designated where god has put them they can rebel, they can choose to wait or stay in where God has put said they should be, they should do what they should be. Just as man too can decide to oh I, I, I will see and I will keep staying with my with my but what benefit? What is that? Why would we or why would you want to live away from the precious, the beautiful things that God has made, has given you? That God has given you. Just like saying. Now, the story of the prodigal son, just like saying you have something. The prodigal son realized, the Bible says he took his, his money, he said, my father, give me my own share of the inheritance, I want to, 
you know i just want to i said i want to uh go that was it like give me my portion so he took it and you know you fool and he leaves it on spending just eating spending and he squandered the money basically and he came the Bible says that when he came to himself he was he, he, he to the extent that he became so broke that he was now working in a pig sty and was almost eating from the food that was meant for the animals and the he said you know ah, that's ah, how will i be in this and even if he was saying to himself like, even ah, i can't be in this what like, even if i go to my father's house I, even if, I, if i'm one of his servants i can still be eating i can still be living okay so let me go back to my father and apologize to father daddy i'm sorry for everything i've done he said i'm i'm i'm, I'm sorry for everything and the bible says that his father was waiting for him his father saw him from a long distance ran to him hugged him and his brother was saying that oh uh he's basically you know they threw a party for him he came back home he came back to where he was supposed to be god is asking you god is telling you god is calling you come back to yourself think is this the life god wants me to live is this a, a befitting life for for, for for one made in God's likeness, image and likeness, is this befitting? Am I living? How is this dignifying? How can I be look? I'm looking at how can I be trying to 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 is it covered? How can I be trying to to you know looking jealously? How can I be? Uh, now just look at just be honest. Look at is what am I? What I'm doing? Present is it? Be dignifying is it befitting honestly you can have self appraise you can know yourself a praise and when you look at living the bible says the works of uh talks about the works of the flesh those are the things of the flesh when you look at why uh, would i be doing this kind of it's also uh, it's it's belief it's, it's lower it's not what god has put us it's low Let us come back to who God made us as, as made us to be. Let us live a life. Let us. The Bible says that God has crowned man with glory, blessing, honor. So let us live as we should live. The Bible says in the book of in Genesis that God told man that be fruitful and multiply. Multiply. He said, have dominion on the earth, over the birds, over the animals, over everything, and just rule. That why God made man la he made everything else first first everything they now made us made man meaning it's just like this is your office take the key take the and now how you know man was was made to to if if, if we look at you know the bible says that if that we should not be 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 moved away or be 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 deceived into thinking because it's the simplicity of the gospel you know so when you look at the big picture when you look at how we are supposed to be it seems so you know there's a, there's a statement that people say no i don't want peace i don't want this i just want you know there's a statement i want problems i want trouble people just want to fight they just want to ah they just want but when you look at that is most people don't, you know you want to just know if you look at Apostle Paul said that because this gospel is so the, 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 the plan of God for us is so it's just like when you create when you make something you don't want that thing to be stressed you don't want that thing to have any to be stressed you just you what do you do you want that thing to 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 live fully well okay uh, so God made man to replenish the earth god made man to have authority have dominion have authority man is a priest man is a king the bible says man is a is a king man the bible says ye are gods god you know you are so it's just the bible says that a man that is in honor and does and knoweth it and understandeth it not 
a man that is in honor, meaning you have been given something and you do not know. The Bible says is that that is like a beast, one of the beasts, the animals that just fade away. The animals that just move. That is why it is the meaning. It is below you as God has. It's below you to to do the flesh, the works of the flesh, to envy, to 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 commit fornication, adultery, to steal, to to do every work of the flesh. God has, you know, living how God wants us to live too. That's the life. There's no other life better than that. There's no other life. There's no other way to live that is more, that is better. There's no. Living the way the manufacturer, the creator has, in, has, has made for you, or for, for you to two is the best way you can live if you make something and say you might find a vehicle a car there's a standard you want that car to to live to work when it works optimally when it works you know if the car starts to perform so starts to perform so proud starts to have some faults what do you do you fill it back you change it or you do things you bring it back to the state it's supposed to be you put the spare tire you because you are the big you make things you bring it back living below or living yes yeah, below how what how god intends wants us to live living in the flesh living according to the flesh the spirit is how we are supposed to live, walking with how God, what God wants to live with our spirit, we love walking by the spirit, in love, in dominion, in authority, living the world, live, um, making the world a better place, replenishing the earth, tending the garden. God has, you know, we're supposed to. God, you know, we're supposed to make this world a, a better place. Living, walking in the spirit, how God wants us to. That the Bible says, love is the greatest. Love never fails. When we, that the Bible says, love, faith, hope, love, but the greatest is love. When we walk, we live because that that is the. This, the, 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 the ultimate, the highest and the greatest thing. Love is how God made us, made the world. So it must be how we are supposed to operate, how the world is supposed to operate, how we are supposed to operate, how we are supposed to take on, to live in the world, how we are supposed to, to grow, to groom the world, to make the world a better place to, to, to live. If something was made in love or made by love, meaning its system is meant to be operating and working up in love. Jesus is the way, the truth, the life, and the life. When we receive Jesus, when we get back to Jesus, when we receive Jesus, we are brought back into the life God has originally made for us from the very from the beginning. God wants us to love, to live in peace and love in unity. We get back to that place God wants us to be through Jesus he's the way he's the way we get back at that heart that like God originally gave us man in the uh, very in the beginning that's how we get back through Jesus he's the way we get back into God's kingdom into fellowship with God we get back and through him because his spirit the spirit our spirits are made are made 
alive in God, we now continue to live a, a great life, a good life. The life God wants wants us wants us to live. Love never fails. I said we put we post uh, scriptures in form of wallpapers day almost every day daily, and this is the scripture that I would like us to point out to look at and Galatians five. That's good. Galatians five talks about walking in the spirit. When we now this the, world, the spirit is the first is the way we're supposed to live by the spirit of love the spirit of god when we walk the spirit that the spirit of god we're supposed to walk in the spirit because if you walk according to to the external meaning just as how a phone your phone does not or your computer or lap does not it's not the, the hardware the, the computer itself the body that controls the computer it is the, the operating system this what is inside the computer that makes the computer function not the outside so meaning is what is in your heart, what your heart that you are supposed to live according to your to to how you know to your spirit, not but your flesh. The flesh, the Bible says that is the spirit that you know, the flesh profits nothing. The flesh profits nothing. You know, it's just it's just anything is 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 what is inside that counts that matters. What is inside, not what is external. So we cannot. It doesn't even speak um, logically looking at it it doesn't make for you to live according to your external your flesh living meaning your is your flesh that is controlling you or me uh, meaning you are doing things according to how you just you know feelings you know there's a popular saying that feel it feel it you no know, you're supposed to 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 lead you're supposed to lead you're supposed to lead you're supposed to lead not feel don't don't be led by feelings you are supposed to be leading Living by the spirit of God uh, that God gives you when you become His child, when you become reconciled to God through His Son, through Jesus. We'll be posting. Let's, uh, we'll, no, Jesus is the way. So we're supposed to get back to God, get our hearts in the new hearts through him be born again the scriptures Romans chapter 10 the Bible says that and everyone anyone everyone that calls upon that calls, that calls upon the name of the Lord of God upon the name of the Lord will be shall be saved everyone because it's every man every man that God has called you say has called all men to come back to him God has called every all men so you are supposed to get back into communion with the Father, communion with God. He said, "God's we're posting scriptures. So walk, but says walk in the Spirit, walk in the Spirit, and you will not fulfill the the laws, loss, the lusts of the flesh when we walk in the Spirit." Own walk in the spirit, and you know, it's so. It's, 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 it's really it's so. You know, people. Uh, Putin, like why is people supporting Putin and all those things? You know, there's when you have a, a cause, something to live, the right thing to live for. You know, it's it's, it's blessing. It's a ble great thing to. The life. God has given us called everyone to live that glorious life in, G in Jesus is the way is the way we are meant to live. Full accept Jesus, accept your 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 heart that God that is your that God that has put the heart you you you, you the, accept the way that God wants you to live. Accept the as accept. Living in the spirit, living according to the spirit. You know, it doesn't make out, you know, living according to the external. It doesn't make any, 
why would you want to be led by your flesh? Why would you want to live according to you're supposed to live according to your and for you to live consistently according to in love? We know the truth that love to live in love and it's not easy for us to do, but for us to live consistently in love, we have to first get that heart. You can't do it by yourself on your own. You can't just say, Okay, yes, I know the truth, I'll walk in love, I'll just live in love. There is that OS, that operating system, that the, the, the way the the, the power or the heart to live you, not, you don't have the capacity to live that naturally on your own to just okay i'll be loving i'll be loving i'll do the right thing i'll do the right thing because when you try to do it you realize ah it's so i don't just ah, i'm trying to, because that's or oh, that operate that operating system or that that's the way that's heart that's power to live that way is not until you accept it until you enter through the way until you accept the installation until you accept the the until you accept the the way you're supposed to live until you accept that power that heart that God the heart you are supposed to have. So you enter through Jesus, then you believe that the Holy Spirit, the Godhead, you have the Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. So you accept, you enter through Jesus. Then you live through the Holy Spirit. You have the power of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. You have the power of the Spirit of God to live continually, to live in life, to live, to live, to live continually, to live life fully. Jesus gives you the enabling power, entrance. Then you now live in the Spirit, kept by the love of God. You are you are blessed by God's love. Love is the way we are meant to live. Jesus is the way. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit is the enablement. God is the source. We live fruitfully, we live bountiful lives. Living according to the manufacturer, living according to the way, the way the manufacturer, the creator has ordained for us, giving us to live. Galatians five chapter five. Let's look at what Galatians. Walk in the spirit, and you will not, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. Galatians 